Some might say this was a day not fit for man <laughs> nor beast. But Steve Harris found both braving the chilly temperatures. Stop me if you've heard this one, but it's really cold outside. If the gloves and scarf and red ears didn't give it away, how about this? <sighs> hmm? Right. So those of us who have to work have to work in it. But would anybody actually want to play? Believe it or not, I found several. Ethan here is training for a marathon. You got to have a goal. I mean, you don't come out here just to like kind of run around and play about, right? You got you to gotta want to be doing something. And Daya is walking her dogs. Double gloves, uh, snow boots, uh, you know, wearing heavy clothes. If you ask me, this is the kind of weather only a polar bear could enjoy, which actually gives me an idea. A trip to the zoo. But where is the polar bear? Ah, turns out he's underwater. An animal like a polar bear, they are well built for this kind of cold. Uh, you know, as I said, they'll put on a heavy uh, winter coat. Uh, they also grow a heavier layer of fat or blubber. And uh, they even have uh, furred paws at the bottom of their feet. Not every animal here are cold-loving carnivores. So what do they do with those? A lot of our buildings, um, they are all heated or cooled in the summertime. And our pools, like the one right behind me, uh, is also temperature controlled. And I found more than animals at the zoo today. People actually brave the frigid temperatures. We like it when it's cold because there's nobody here and we can see all the animals. It's too cold to go hiking. <laughs> <laughs> we love when it's cold enough to go into the penguin house and it's warmer. You know, I'm thinking the polar bear has the right idea. As long as the pool's heated. Steve Harris, News 4.